What's going on growers? It's James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. If you want to start a garden and have a nice raised bed, but you don't want to break the bank to do it, today I'm going to show you how you can build your own beautiful raised bed out of free recycled pallets. Let's go! Let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to need are pallets. I'm going to be making a four by eight raised bed. When it comes to pallets, uh, where are you gonna get them? That's up to you. I found some of them at the local gardening center, but then I also went to the local recycling center. They let me have as many as I wanted. They found it convenient that I was taking recycling and garbage away rather than bringing it in. So I'm gonna get all the pallets stacked here, then we'll start cutting. I'm just gonna drop this one off, leave it here for a minute. I'm gonna start with this one. What I'm going to do is just actually cut this pallet up. I'm not going to be pulling all the nails out. That's going to be super tedious and I don't need to do that for the kind of raised bed I'm building. What we're going to do is just take our circular saw and we're going to cut all along here and along here. What that's going to leave us is a nice board about 14 to 16 inches long. We're going to do that for all of them. Hopefully end up with about 50 to 56 boards. What I'm going to do now is throw my saw up here and cut this basically as close to the to the other piece of wood here as I can without hitting any of the nails. This doesn't have to be perfectly straight. We're gonna make the board straight after this. That whole pallet is done, all cut up. You can see what we're left with, these boards. So we're gonna cut them down to about 12, 16 inches, whatever works, and we're gonna line them all up. And this will be the border of our raised bed. So you can see it's already starting to come together just a little bit. Saves so much time by not pulling those nails. There we go. That last pallet all cut up. All the good pieces at least. Stack them up over here. You can see right here I've got the other ones stacked. I've got uh, sets of 10. So I've got six sets of 10, that's 60 plus a few additional. My math said that I only need about 50 or 56, so let me get to the next step, cutting these down. We have all those pieces cut, and I'll show you. You can see that they're not square at all. As you can see, it doesn't line up right. So what we're gonna do to fix that is put it on a drop saw. So we're just gonna take this drop saw, set it zero degrees. I'm gonna pull it on this side over here because I have something bumped up over there. Now we're gonna just put it on this side here, and I'm just gonna drop it just to trim it to make it square. So what that's gonna do is make one side square for me. Then we're gonna take that square side and bump it up against this piece of wood that I measured and marked. This way, this side will be square and then it's measured at 16 inches. So all I gotta do is drop this down. 16 inch piece, both sides square. It's gonna be quick and easy. We're gonna do that for all the rest. There we go. All the boards are cut to the same length and square. Here's all 56 of them stacked up nicely. Next, what I need to do is I'm gonna cut some of these pieces in the back so they'll act as bracing and support for these boards so we can connect them all together. What I'm gonna do is just take this and rip a piece down. I'm just gonna eyeball, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna be on the inside of the bed so you're not gonna see it. Just make sure you don't hit these screws here because it'll ruin your blade. I was getting a little close to a screw so I stopped. I'm just gonna cut it off here. Next, I have a couple nails in the back. I'm just gonna bang those out from behind. And this is gonna work conveniently because this piece is almost four feet and that's gonna be one of the lengths of my bed. So we shouldn't have to cut it. Get those nails pocketed. And then we're gonna take the stack of 10. We should only need nine boards if my math is right to make a four foot wall. We'll have two four foot walls and one eight foot one. Bring this over. Right here, I have set up just a straight edge and then I have clamps. This way they all line up perfectly at the top, but they should all be cut even. So when we line all of them up, the top and bottom should be all even, as you can see. That's what we want to see. Some of these may be different uh, widths, but that's okay. You can put your widest ones at the end so that when you're attaching, you have a strong board to attach with. That's what we'll do here. There's a nice wide board, put that at the end. The straight edge isn't completely necessary, it just makes it easy for me to push right up to. This one's a little thick. I'm gonna move this at the end. We have all these pieces cut and lined up. What we're gonna do is just measure. Should be four feet. It's basically exactly four feet, that's what we want. Next, what we're gonna do is take this brace that we ripped down. We're just gonna put that on the back, pre-drill holes, and then screw it all together. We want a pre-drill because we don't want any splitting. This isn't the best quality wood, so we don't want to split it. Soon we'll seal it. And then just sink it in and do all the rest the same. 
There we go. Now I'm gonna pick it up, show you what it looks like. This is gonna be one side of our raised bed. As you can see, it's gonna look real nice. One side, we need to do the other three sides, and then we're gonna have a cat piece that really locks everything together. It's a little wobbly still, but there's gonna be one cat piece that ties everything together. Let's move on to the other sides. There we go. The second four foot section is done. So this bed's gonna be eight foot by four foot. Instead of making a whole eight foot section, which is gonna to be tough to do, what I'm gonna do is just make six four foot sections and then take two of them like I have here. Here's two foot, two four foot sections and then just connect them. That's gonna give me an eight foot section. So we'll do it like that. So I've got two four foot sections made. I need four more to make. There we go, all six pieces are done. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use some linseed oil. And what this is gonna do is gonna help preserve the wood. We're gonna put this linseed oil, it's gonna help get us hopefully a couple more years out of this wood because obviously it's not pressure treated and we don't wanna use pressure treated wood. So all I'm gonna do is just brush this off. I'll brush this section off. Then I'm just gonna start painting that linseed oil on. So we're gonna put this on pretty liberally, just a brush, any brush, just to get it on there basically. Let's pour it into here. This is just flaxseed oil. So it's completely natural. What we're gonna do is just brush this on very liberally and then give it about five or 10 minutes to sink in. After we give it that five to 10 minutes to sink in, then we'll uh, just wipe off all the excess with a rag. We're gonna do this on both sides. This one side is all finished. Now, I'm gonna flip it to the other side. Just gonna be super liberal with the flaxseed oil. There we go, that side is all done. Both sides done now. And then we're just gonna flax seed oil at the top, or linseed oil. All these boards are linseed oiled. Next, what I'm gonna do is just measure and cut this whole piece to exactly four feet. You'll notice that I'm only cutting off a little bit of the board. You wanna make sure you have basically full boards. You don't wanna just have a little bit of a board left. If you're gonna have a little bit of a board, you wanna make sure that's in the center. We have all of our pieces cut to four feet. Now what we're gonna do is take two of them, connect them together, that's gonna be our one eight foot side. Next we're gonna attach this and just linseed oil after. This is gonna just combine the whole thing, attach it all together. There we go, last screw in. Now we have the two four foot pieces attached. We got one nice eight foot edge of the bed. Now you can see it's starting to come together. Let me show you how it's gonna look with one of the four foot pieces right here. With the eight foot piece done, and it's looking really nice. You can see it's starting to come together. We just have to do the one more eight foot piece, then the other four foot, we'll bring it into the garden, level it, fill it, start growing. Here's the section right here where I'm gonna put the bed in. Now I just wanna clear some of these wood chips out and get it relatively level before I start building it in place. Both those sides are down, they look good. I have them connected right now, just temporarily, with this little support. This piece right here, it's like a little corner piece. It helps hold them together when you don't have anyone to help you. Next, I'm just gonna attach this piece on the inside. Then I'm gonna use that to marry both sides together. So first we're just gonna pre-drill. Now I'm gonna screw from the other side. Screw this in. There we go. Looking nice. And take this off. And then we're still gonna have one more top piece that's gonna really connect everything together and pull it back all even. There we go, that side's all tightened. Same thing, we're just gonna take this block, put it in and screw to it. Two sides down, let's move to the others. Here's the fourth side. Let's get this one in. We'll just do the same thing, level, put our braces on, and then screw them in. Here's our fourth and final side, hole in. I'll step back a little bit. As you can see, it's come together nicely. And you could leave it like this if you wanted to. If you wanted to only use pallets, that's it. But I want to strengthen up a little bit more and make it a little more convenient for me. So what I'm gonna do is just take a two by four. I'm gonna linseed oil it first. Then I'm gonna screw it up to here. What that's gonna allow me to do is to line everything up nicely. It's gonna strengthen the whole thing and tie it all together. Here's the top rail, the two by four. Just linseed oiled it. Let it dry. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach one side and then the other side, and then fix the center if it's bowed. Got that all lined up. I'm just gonna pre-drill on the edge. Hit that other piece of wood down there. There we go. Beautiful. I'm gonna do the same thing right here and on the other end. 
there's the other corner in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way down and just pop these out. You can see, like this middle here. I'm gonna put screws in here just so it's all level. So what I'm gonna do is just make it about flush on the outside. And it's gonna be nice and flush along the whole thing. Some of them that are bowed out like this, we'll just fix with a screw. There we go. That rail is all screwed. Now what we're gonna do is just measure the distance between these two and those two, and we're just gonna cut it, and that'll be the final top rails. We have the top rail cut and linseed oiled. Now we just have to screw it in, line it up nicely. Make sure we pre-drill. There we go, that screws in. Now you can see the top rail and you've got a good idea of what this raised bed actually looks like. A lot of fun to make, still a few things to fix, to bow it out just a little bit, but overall I'm so happy with the way it came out. And I'm not gonna be able to do it tonight, but tomorrow I'm gonna be out here, me and Tuck. We're gonna fill this baby up, we're gonna get some stuff planted. It's the next day, the raised bed is all finished being built. It looks fantastic. Now we're just gonna fill it up. The first thing we're gonna fill it up with is some homemade compost. This stuff is basically finished, and I have some new stuff in there with it, some new greens. So we're just gonna line the bottom with this. It's gonna add some nutrition and stuff, but it's also gonna save us some space because that's a pretty deep bed. We're looking at about 16 inches. Here's the first load, we'll put this in. Some of you mentioned in a previous video that I should build three walls and leave one wall open, wheelbarrow it in and then dump it. I thought about doing that, but it was kind of hard with this build because it wasn't super, super sturdy before I put it together. The strength in this came after it was all together. So to do three sides at once, it just didn't seem like it would have been right for me to get it all level and the way I wanted it. Let's load this baby in. You can see this compost is gonna really help fill some of that space for us. There we go, the homemade compost is all in, filled some space. Next, we're gonna put some black leaf mulch in. And this stuff, I get for free. The pallets I got for free, the black leaf mulch I get for free as well from the local recycling center. So that's why I was saying in the beginning, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to break the bank. Just go out, look for some local resources and try to be thrifty with the way you spend your money to build a bed like this. One thing I wanted to show you though, as we come in here, you'll notice, we've got a good amount of bracing in here. I've got at the top, every, every board is connected at the top, and then we have the bracing down here. I don't think I'm gonna get any bowing, so I think it should be okay. If you wanna feel safe about it, you could add even more bracing. Let's get some black leaf mulch in, a bunch of this, and then we'll add the compost after. There we go, this is pretty much where I want it for the black leaf mulch. Next, we're gonna come through and just put a mushroom compost on top of this. So the mushroom compost is gonna be great for fertilization. It's really gonna grow with some beautiful plants, hopefully. And this is almost finished. Let's get the compost in. Here it is, the final wheelbarrow. I'm loving the way it's come out. Just a few more scoops on there, I think. Then we'll level this out. You can see I'm not shy with how much I put in here. We're gonna be growing some fantastic things in here. So we'll just level this all out. Then we'll get to the best part. Start planting, soon we'll be reaping the harvest. Before we get into planting, I just wanna show you the math that I used to build this. The first thing I did was find the size of one of my boards. So I averaged that they were about five and a half inches. The next thing I did was choose my bed size. So I chose eight foot by four foot. The next thing I did was wanted to convert the whole thing to inches. So I took my eight foot, multiply it times 12. That gave me 96 inches. I did the same thing on the top. Four foot times 12 gave me 48 inches. Then I added all of them up for the perimeter. So 48 inches, 48 inches, 96 inches, 96 inches. That gave me 288 inches. Then I divided that by my board size, which was about five and a half inches. That gave me a little more than 52 boards. I averaged up and cut about 56. I think I only ended up only needing about 54. There she is, all filled up. Now we got our seeds. Time to start putting some stuff in. It's pretty simple when you have a nice raised bed like this. Convenient, we could just lean on the ledge like this, sit, and then we're just, all we have to do is just basically dig into the soil a little bit, grab our uh, seedlings, whatever one we're gonna plant, take some dino kale here. Now nah, we'll take some here, some uh, cauliflower. Slide these in. If you want more information about plant spacing and how to plant new stuff, check out the square foot gardening video we just did. That'll give you all the info you need. We're gonna tuck this baby in bury the stem just a little bit. Then we'll thin out the other one. So we only have one plant left. There we go, that one's all tucked in. 
me and Tuck have a lot more that we get to plant and we're super excited about it because we love getting out here, getting our hands dirty. That's today's video though. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. And I want to encourage you, well, me and Tuck want to encourage you guys to get out there to grow something, no matter how much space you have. Even if it's, if it's a huge acreage, use it all. If you got a small space, start a two by two raised bed. It doesn't matter, just get growing. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with your friends. Don't forget to check out the merch down low. Tuck and James will be back at you real soon with another one. We out.